Hello friends, uh, I'm Dr. Mohsen Raj. I've done my MD from Ames, New Delhi, and now I'm a DM cardiology student at Ames, New Delhi. In this video, I will try to address an important question like, how do you read this textbook of internal medicine, Harrison's textbook of internal medicine, or should you read it? Is it mandatory for every medical student? Now, number one, uh, we understand that you can clear MBBS professional exam or you can crack INICT or TPG without even looking at this book or ever reading this book. But it's uh, a great miss if you do so. It's a great miss. It's a huge loss if you don't read this textbook, uh, at least some part of it during your MBBS. Now, number one thing is when should you start reading it? Probably during your third year or pre-final year. Uh, that's when you actually uh, have uh, an exposure to clinical postings in your general medicine or general surgery. So reading this textbook, at least those cases which you see in the ward, reading those topics from this textbook would be very helpful, number one. Uh, number second, then a more detailed uh, study of important topics in your final professional exams should be uh, important in your final year MBBS. Now, uh, I want to highlight a few things that are very important. Number one is the uh, portion of the cardinal manifestations of diseases, which comes in this uh, volume number one, which is roughly about 300 pages. And it covers symptoms, signs, and important, you know, um, manifesting uh, symptoms or cardinal manifestations of various organ systems. For example, it will, um, you know, cover areas of chest pain, abdominal pain, or it will cover areas like weakness, or maybe even areas of dermatology are covered, and importantly, the acid-base and electrolyte disorders. So those areas are important, and reading those 350 pages is important because whichever profession you do, you you choose later on, you may become an orthopedician, you may become an, a, a gynecologist or a physician, or maybe a super specialist. But those areas, those cardinal manifestations and understanding how to take history, uh, the physical findings that you have to look for or how to do the basic evaluation to reach a particular diagnosis or at least identify the life threatening diagnosis, differential diagnosis of a particular manifestation. For example, if you go to area of chest pain, which is a cardinal manifestation of cardiovascular diseases, it, it starts with the etiologies, the different say cardiopulmonary, non-cardiopulmonary chest pain causes and then it highlights what are the uh, most uh, you know urgent differential diagnosis, something like acute coronary syndrome or acute aortic syndromes or maybe spontaneous pneumothorax so what all things to look at history physical in fact if you read um, those 350 pages you you will cover most of your practical aspects of your practical final year mbbs you know exam in medicine you know history physical examination investigations of choice and basic evaluation that all is covered in these 350 pages so that I think is very important to read. And second, if you go to individual organ systems, at least read the most common morbidities. For example, if you look at cardiology, read at least ischemic heart diseases and heart failure. If you look at kidney, uh, kidney section on chitty, it is okay if you read glomerulonephrites from your uh, coaching notes or whatever, but don't miss acute kidney injury. Don't miss see, uh, chronic uh, kidney uh, disease. Similarly, read the most common diseases that you encounter in clinical practice or when you go to the medicine wards the most common diagnosis that you see there in patients read those things in detail from this book now don't forget um, in the initial place why you joined MBBS it was not to solve MCQs and join a postgraduate course to crack INICT to crack NEET PG to read notes from some coaching center and then crack an exam that was not the purpose your purpose was to to see patients, not MCQ questions. Your purpose was to uh, understand the disease process, diagnose diseases and treat patients. That's the purpose of medicine. And so that thing can be learned, that, that, that art can be learned, the science and the art of medicine can be learned from such books, the standard books as Harrison. So the message from the video is actually clear. Number one, you should read this textbook, some part of this textbook in your pre-final year and final year MPPS. Number second, you should not miss the cardinal manifestations of diseases portion from this textbook. And number third, the most common morbidities, the diseases that you encounter in medicine wards, you should 
you should read them in detail from this textbook. This book may not have been written for MBBS students, but probably MBBS students benefit the most out of this book. I wish you luck in your learning and, and routine studies. Thanks for watching this channel.